Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sugar MD. Today we are talking about beets. Are beets good for diabetes? I get this question frequently and I'll talk about that today. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. And let's talk about beets. Okay guys, so beets are nice and tasty not everybody likes them but actually they are like medicinal food they do not necessarily help your diabetes per se but it helps a lot of other things and i'll tell you what they are but let's talk about diabetes part first now one cup of raw beets are around 13 grams of carbs and they have good amount of fiber, so you end up with around 9 grams of net carbs, which is not bad, right? So it's low in calories, it's a great addition to your salad, some people even drink beet juice. But what is really important about beets is it is very good for your blood pressure. A significant blood pressure drop has been seen with beets and beet juice. Now, the beet juice may have more carbohydrates in it, so you have to be careful about how much you consume, but it is very high in folate and B vitamins and very high in antioxidants. Now, one of the antioxidants is alpha-lipoic acid, which has been shown to reduce the nerve damage in patients with diabetes. So, it helps your blood pressure reduction and it helps with the nerve damage. Now, how does it do that? There are nitrates, which are a derivative of nitric oxide, or it leads to the creation of nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a primary molecule that dilates your blood vessels. And most of us, as we get older, and due to a variety of other diseases such as diabetes and insulin resistance, our blood vessels get stiffer and stiffer. And we need some sort of dilator so that uh, the elasticity in your blood vessels remain better and more like healthier. And nitric oxide is one of the things that really help you to achieve that. As we get older, nitric oxide production goes down due to problems like insulin resistance, it goes down. But the beets and beet juice really helps to regenerate that nitric oxide that you need in order to create that elasticity in your arteries. Up to 8 to 10 millimeter mercury drop in your blood pressure is achievable when you incorporate the beets in your diet. As I said, it's not very high in carbs and it's a great addition to help control your blood pressure. Also, uh, if you continuously use it, it because of the alpha lipoic acid content in it, it will definitely help prevent the nerve damage as well. Again, I like beets uh, in my salad most of the time. And I think if you haven't tried it, try that. You will like that as well. Also, because of the nitric oxide content, people who are into exercise, which you all should be into exercise at this point, right? Uh, if you have diabetes and watching this channel. But if you are having the problem of getting tired easily and your exercise capacity is not great, try beets. Beets will help you to improve your exercise capacity as well. Because when you exercise, your muscles need that blood flow. And if your blood vessels, like we discussed, is not opening up, then you will have the fatigue. So... Uh, try that. I think your exercise capacity will improve as well. Guys, and if you are having any questions, if you have more questions, don't hesitate to write in the comment section. Give a thumbs up and share this video. Really appreciate you guys and we'll see you in the next video.